When should you ask questions and when should you try to find out yourself? Will too much asking be bad for your reputation? We'll find out in this video. Stay tuned. In one of my previous videos, I talked about the importance of asking clarifying questions and I stressed to always ask them. And in another video, I talked about independence and that your boss expects from you to work independently. Now, somebody with the name of Dominatoification, um, sorry for butchering your name, uh, called me out on this and I want to clarify some things. Before we get into this, let me tell you a story by a famous psychologist named Paul Watzlewick. There is a man and he wants to hang up a picture on his wall, but he needs a hammer. So he thinks about going to his neighbor and ask him if he could borrow a hammer. Uh, then he remembers the day before and he remembers that the neighbor didn't greet him. And so he stops and he thinks, hmm, what could have happened? What could have been the reason that he didn't greet him? And he starts asking a lot of questions in his mind and he gets into this rage and suddenly he thinks the neighbor doesn't like him and he, he starts thinking about past occurrences and in the end he runs over to the neighbor's door and he furiously knocks at his door and screams at the neighbor you can keep your hammer you idiot and he goes away okay what the hell am i trying to tell you here multiple things first of all if you're thinking about asking a question it won't get you any closer to the solution you're looking for so either ask it or don't ask it but sitting there and thinking about it it's just a waste of time. You're being judged by the results you deliver and not by the questions you ask. So if you finish a project or you push a bug fix, it's about the actual thing you did and not what you ask before doing it or while doing it. Yeah, one person will have to care about what questions you ask yourself because it's just the right thing to give credit where credit is due and you're building trust with it. So if you call out somebody while presenting a new project and you tell the people that he or she helped you with the project and gave you some valuable input, it will build trust with him and it will build trust with all of the project team and everybody involved. And second of all, it shows confidence and you're showing confidence in yourself to all of the people involved. And just to be absolutely clear, I'm talking about questions where you ask people how to do something and not something like, can you do this for me? When is the time to ask questions and when is the time to do your own research and try to find out yourself? Two situations, you're chatting with somebody, pair programming, or you're sitting in a meeting, the precise consensus is the goal of the conversation. So you and your counterpart have to agree on what to do or you have to agree on how to proceed with the project or whatever it is. So. It's about knowing what the other one wants to tell you and in the other direction as well. The other one has to exactly understand what you're trying to tell him. So if the audio connection is bad, if you have some sort of a language barrier between you, whatever it is, you have to ask and you don't stop asking until you exactly know what the other one meant. Because what happens if you don't do this? You could start working on something and because you assume you understood that other person and you do this and you start working and you do it for days or even weeks and then you find out that there was some sort of a disagreement because you didn't understand his exact requirements and then you just did a couple of days or weeks uh, work for nothing situation two you're working on something and you realize you need to know something you're missing something very fundamental for example you started a project and you have web services where you depend on and you need to know what those web services do how they fit together and how they help you or something very small like how do i smoke test something quickly because you finished something and you need to test what you did so in those kind of situations your first instinct has to be how can i look this up myself is there a resource is there a wiki is there some document or anything where you can look it up yourself but in this case you're already showing independence but at the same time you shouldn't do this for too much time so limit it to a couple of minutes 
And, and if you don't find a good resource on your own after a couple of minutes, go out and ask somebody. Why? Because somebody will know and he then will point you to that resource. So don't expect from somebody to come to your place and explain one hour or two hours of all the dependent web services to you. It's about finding out where you can find out about it, where you can read about it, and then do it on your own. So on the one hand, you ask questions, and on the other hand, you show independence because you now you know where to look it up. And there is a small, like there's a fine line between those two things. And you should always think about it like a balance sheet. So on the one hand is time to ask questions. So the time you're losing and the time uh, your colleague is losing while you ask that question against productivity gained. So the time you're uh, productively working on something. Because if you start getting into wikis and resources and most of them, most of them are out of date, you can easily spend half a day on something without finding it out uh, versus just asking somebody more experienced and he pointing you to the right thing. Now you can apply those two scenarios in real life job situations and I'll guarantee you that nobody will laugh at your questions. Why? Because you just deliver strong results. Others are probably still trying to find out their answers on Stack Overflow and you just asked the questions and delivered your project. Okay, that's it for today's video. Tell me about a time you wish you had asked questions earlier. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. My name is Ramon Lopez and this is Success in Tech.